here today with a mitten-handed tree triceratops, which was poorly named the Jackson's Chameleon, because chameleons are some of the coolest lizards in the world. I would say they're one of the coolest animals that exists, period, anywhere, at any time in history, including dinosaurs, which, I mean, this, this does look like a triceratops, does it not? Yeah, it does. It absolutely does. And let's take a look at, I mean, that right there probably is as good as image as you're going to see of a Jackson chameleon. All right, so let's instead do this. Take a look at a triceratops. And we'll see that the in the museums they have these uh, bone structures whatever you call them skeletons of triceratops that they've dug up out of the ground and of course they're not going to show me any why would they well you can see them but they're, these aren't the greatest it doesn't matter who cares all right so you'll see I guess you could see that right there you notice the three horns right there there's another one and there's another one there's a pretty good image of it right there you see the long tail they have them sort of walking upright I mean bone for bone it is exactly the same creature the difference is in these museums they're really big now there's a very simple explanation for this and I, I first of all I have to start out by saying I contend that there is no such thing as extinction no creature has ever gone extinct and God did not and would not command Noah to bring all these creatures onto the boat to save them in vain. Every animal that was saved on Noah's boat was an animal that lived on the earth. There was no creature that was not saved. And that every creature that was saved is still alive today. It's impossible for them to go extinct therefore what they call dinosaurs are in reality just lizards now why are they so much bigger back then before the flood than they are today very easy to explain so we go to you know Let's do it this way. 930. And all the days that Adam lived were 930 years, and he died. So we have record of many people living hundreds of years before the flood of Noah. Lots of people lived 12 times longer than what they're living today before the flood and it is a scientific fact that reptiles never stop growing in size so as long as they live and as long as they eat they will continue to grow and get bigger and bigger and bigger and before the flood these creatures lived much longer than they're living today therefore you're we're going to see creatures get much bigger before the flood than they do today. Before the flood, they had a lot of time, many, many years, to eat and to grow and to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And we have evidence of that in the fossil record when they dug up these creatures, dug up their bones, and then pieced them together and so on and so forth and set them in the, these museums and so I strongly contend that this is the Triceratops no question about it in my mind
absolutely guarantee it's bone for bone the same the only difference is these guys are smaller and they would they would have to be smaller because of the record of the Old Testament of the time before the flood when everything was living much longer and the fact that these things never stopped growing in size the fact that they had to have lived longer before the flood just like everybody else can only mean that they grew bigger before the flood than they do today bone for bone the same exact creature Man. now there's other reptiles like the Jesus lizard there's another one I forget the name of already but also so also with those creatures they are bone for bone the same as the bones that were found in the dirt all right and the reason is obvious now uh, nobody's picked up on this yet hopefully you know someday because it to me it's interesting you know, you know a lot of people don't even care but to me it's interesting I mean if you're going to talk about dinosaurs if you're sincere about it you ought to be able to connect these dots see that this Jackson's chameleon is bone for bone the same creature as the Triceratops. Alright, that's all I got.